Now let's talk about the for each command, XSL for each. As the name implies, it will do something for each. For each what? For each node that the X path in its select attribute returns. Now that's a mouthful of words, and I'll get into it in just a second, but let me give you the idea. The idea is you want to make some sort of listing. You want to do something over and over again for each whatever it is that you want to find. In our case, we want to do something for each movie. So we're going to use this for each command to make a list of the movies. And down here is the code that does that. So first of all, let me talk about some of the X paths that are going on in here. Here's our for each statement on line 61. And notice it says whack whack movie. That means anywhere. Find me the movie elements wherever they are. And that's a convenience for us. We could have used an absolute path. We could have used a relative path. But instead, we use this whack whack path because it's nice and convenient. If you have huge XML files, you probably don't want to use the whack whack because it's not very efficient. But for our small files that we have in this class, whack whack is very convenient. And you don't have to worry about it. You just have to remember the very last element. Now, I said earlier that the, um, the template match equals forward slash sets the current node to the root node, to the forward, well, actually, before the root node, it sets the current node to. The next thing that's going to set the current node is a for each command. So anytime I have a for each command, it's going to set the current node. If does not set the current node, value of does not set the current node, but for each does. So once I'm inside this for each from line 62 to line 64, the current node is going to be a movie node. And in fact, it will change from movie number one to movie number two to movie number three. That's the whole idea. It's giving me all of the movies in turn. And every time I'm in a movie, that movie node is the current node. So when I do an XSL value of select, it can be nice and simple. Notice no path in here at all because a title, title is a child of the current node. Whack Whack Movie returns all of my movies. Every movie has a title node, so I know that this is going to work. In the end, it returns a list of all the movies. So let's look at the, the HTML for a moment here. Notice we have a bullet list. Inside that bullet list, we have a couple of static bullets. They're never going to change. And then we have one bullet for every movie. Okay, so what I did here was I wrapped the for each in the UL because I want the UL to go before the for each and finish after the for each. And then inside the for each, I produce one single bullet. So if we look at the output, you'll see that um, uh, the output does this. So I use it to make lists. These first two bullets, notice, are my static bullets. And then I have a bullet list for every film in the info base.